<coughs> it might seem concerning when you hear someone cough, sneeze or sniffle, but this doesn't mean they have the virus. Coughing, sneezing and sniffling are common symptoms for people with asthma, hay fever and rhinitis, but that doesn't mean they're contagious. Although signs of COVID-19 can include respiratory symptoms, fever and difficulty breathing, many people who test positive for the virus don't have any symptoms at all. Like all viral infections, this virus does not respond to antibiotics. Although some antiviral medications are available, there's no substantial evidence to suggest that they work. Instead, our immune systems are still our best defence, but this means people, such as the elderly, could be more susceptible. However, if you're healthy, that doesn't mean there's nothing to worry about. Like most things, prevention is better than cure. In public, be mindful of things you touch and avoid unnecessary exposure and travel. This will help reduce the chance of coming into contact with the virus. Avoid stockpiling. This creates unnecessary panic. Sparing use of protective supplies is the right thing to do. Wear a mask in public to prevent spreading the virus to others and not to prevent catching the virus. Avoid unnecessary use of hand sanitizers. Proper hand washing has been shown to be more effective. Like doctors at the hospital, hand sanitizers are only used when regular hand washing is not feasible. They should never replace proper hand washing. Remember, having symptoms doesn't necessarily mean you need to be in hospital, require treatment or testing. Speak to your doctor over a call and decide if you need to be treated or tested. Now, you might find all this advice familiar because it's exactly what you should do if you catch the flu. Influenza has been around for a long time and it would be unwise to panic every flu season. So just like the flu, if you suspect you have the virus, self-isolate at home and use the right over-the-counter treatments for your symptoms. Although the World Health Organization has declared the virus a pandemic, don't panic. The best thing you can do is prevent the spread of the virus, especially to people who might be vulnerable. Seek advice from your doctor or local health service via a phone call or telehealth service of your choice. Call them first so they can prepare for your visit, give appropriate advice and prevent the spread to others. Review your trusted resources to avoid misinformation and visit local health advisory websites for more information.